Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Yo, what's up guys? It's Dan Lags, and I am back again for episode number three of this Modern House tutorial. And on the last episode, we started working on the uh, exterior. Well, I mean, we uh, started working on like the details of the exterior. We're going to finish that up this episode. We're going to work on the courtyard in the middle and maybe a little bit of the interior. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to get out some stone slabs. And what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and make some more... Uh, uh, I guess like ceiling lights and uh, I guess skylights and I'm gonna make some more of those little like solar panel kind of designs right here so let's go ahead and place a couple of these here right here and right here so those are uh, five by two and then over here I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna make a little skylight so I'm gonna get out some spruce wood slabs and some glass and this is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna come Diagonally two away from here, so I'm gonna place a spruce wood slab here. Same thing right here, and then connect them. So that should be one, two, three, four. A four block wide glass window, and I'll just make it maybe four by five. Actually, that'll probably be okay. So four by four, and then just go ahead and line the whole thing with the spruce wood slabs. And obviously, that can be broken. There we go, just like that. And then just place it on the uh, where the the clay is just go ahead and replace that with glass and we'll be good to go so uh hold on guys let me check the recording real quick i don't want to make sure that this is going good yeah okay we're good all right so next thing guys what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna come over here and i'm going to do a little design on this wall because it's very bland as you can see right now so i'm gonna come two away from maybe three away from here and then three down so right here that should be diagonal three before it connects to so one, two, three. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm just going to line these spruce wood slabs all the way around. And that actually counts out to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So do the same thing on this side. So just one for the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It should be three away. Yep, good. And then I'm going to come down. Uh, so there's a block in between. And then I'm going to come across two. So now there's two blocks here, so it's basically like a square of four right here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Just come and I'll bring it all the way down. Same thing over here. And then stop it before it, so until it's two blocks away. So it's going to be two blocks shorter on that side. And then the same thing down here. So I'll come put one block of second separation. Two blocks smaller than the last one. Just like that. So there we go. So we've got a little design right there. Uh, just a little modern design. It looks good on that wall, so I'm happy with that. All right, next thing we're going to do is add the skylights over here. And we need to go inside for this. So we're just going to just swoop inside here. And actually, never mind, because I have no idea where it is. Hold on, this this is a tricky part, because I remember when I first did this build, I was changing this like every three seconds. So um, yeah, it can't be... Actually, that's good right there. I like that. Let's get out the clay, the glass panes, place the clay here and here, and then just put the glass panes in here, like that, perfect. So that's three, and then we, what we want to do is make it the same distance away, so there's four blocks away from the edge here, so we're going to want the same thing over here, so one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, break it into the inside. Place the clay where it needs to be placed, and then just go ahead and place the glass panes. Get outside for this. Alright, so that's good. And then we can place one more over here, so I'm just going to place it, start like right here. So one, two, three. Actually, I'll go I'll do it from here, and patch this one back up, because I want to make it four away from the edge, just like on the other one. So that's that'll be good. Break this into the inside. And then place the glass panes. We'll see how it looks from the inside. As you can see, it is looking just fine. So there we go. Next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of a garden here. So I am going to come diagonally two away from here. Place a spruce wood slab. Come down to the... Till we're one block away on this one. And I'm just making a square. One, one block away from the clay. Two blocks away from the edge of the, the snow. 
and then connect it back to the front. Just like that. Actually, we're going to make this one block away. It'll, it'll look better like that. Alright, there we go. So now I'm going to get out some glass block, glass blocks, grass blocks, place them, and then bone meal them. Just this little, like, I don't even know. This just looks nice. It doesn't really make sense, but it looks good. Having a contrast of green. The green looks really nice with snow. The color green, so um, it provides a good contrast of color, so it just makes everything look better. So that's why we're doing this kind of stuff. And even though it could techni technically be some, some sort of like natural energy or something like that, but we're not going to believe any of that bullcrap. So, um, yeah, that looks good. Nice and bone mealed. And now the uh, interior, or well, the exterior of the house is pretty much finished. The only thing we need to do is add the bushes. And a lot of people, for some reason, don't like bushes. So if you don't like bushes, you don't have to add them. Very simple. I'm just going to pretty much just take these grass blocks. Just kind of just like dangle them off the edge to make them kind of look like vines and shrubbery and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, again, you don't have to do this, but you know, I'm doing it. I, I like adding the grass and the green, the greenery to the house. It makes it look a lot nicer. So especially on modern designs, it doesn't really work for any other kind of design, but for modern, it looks just perfect. Okay, so that's good right there. I'll add a little bit of something right here bring this down and actually we forgot to do this wall right here so what I'm gonna do for this is go ahead and open up a, some spaces and just do that same kind of slab design that I did on the other wall so I'll put one like right here and then one right here pretty simple uh, it doesn't it can be in pretty much any random spot just kind of look make it look like that I guess all right we'll continue with the bushes uh, I'll put one more right here and then we should be gonna try, try to bone meal the uh, the, the gray wool <laughs> That would not work. And I think that's good for the bushes. All right, guys. So now we have pretty much finished the exterior of the house, which is nice. So now what we're going to do is do a little bit of interior work. And, uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right now. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let me go and open up the archways before I cut the video. Because I'm going to cut the video with the entire floor um, filled in with wood. And I'm just going to do it with spruce wood. All you have to do is just fill in all the insides with wood. So... But first, I need to go ahead and make this archway. So, I have it like this. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a little spruce wood slab and just line this across the top like that. There you go. So now we have our archway to the next room. And we can do the same thing over here. For this one, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to take this gray wool, bring this up. And then bring this across to right here and then we can open this up like that perfect same thing over here um i guess it'll come from this side so again we'll bring one more thing up just like this bring it across and bring it back up and there should be three blocks of opening here so then you can just break that so there we go now we have just this, these little pathways and we can actually Add a little bit of like spruce wood, a little archway, archway design right there. So that's good. And the uh, only other thing we need to do is extend this wall right here. So what I like to do is just extend this wall like four or five blocks out. It's like right there. Yeah, that should be good. So there should be three blocks of, of space in between there to make a little pathway to the next room. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right now, and I'm going to come back at you guys with the uh, entire interior design covered in spruce wood, so uh, I will be back at you guys in just a second. And there's an autosave, so that's good for me. Okay guys, we are back, and I actually finished filling in the interior with spruce wood, and again, you don't have to use spruce wood if you don't want, but I went ahead and used that, so again, do whatever you want, but... I chose some spruce wood. So next thing we're going to do, guys, is just do a little bit of interior work, and then we're going to move on to the courtyard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple little pillars in here just to kind of make the room look a little bit better. So I'm basically just going to line the ice with some snow. I'm just going to connect this to the ceiling. Just like that. Pretty simple. And then also what I'm going to do is take a pillar up on each side of the ice from the doorway, and then right above the ice, and then right here as well. Just like that. 
and that's going to be nice for the doorway. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually add a doorway to the courtyard from this, uh, I guess, wall here. So make it nice and symmetrical to the wall. So it should be two, uh, three wide doorway with uh, two on each side. So that'll be perfectly symmetrical. I mean, on the inside, it's not symmetrical, but it doesn't really matter on the inside. So I guess I should change this to spruce wood now. And then uh, above that, uh, two blocks above it, I'm just going to make another little opening. It's like a nice little window like that. So there we go. And uh, that'll be nice. All right, so now we're going to work on this courtyard. And a lot of people have, a uh, ton of people have uh, really been asking for me to do like the water design in the front. And I might do a little bit of that, but I'm definitely not going to do the entire thing. Because trust me, it'll take an hour. It took me like an hour at least to, to, to do that the first time I did it. But I will do a little bit of it right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and just take some lines of... And I also didn't um, like design the front yard to be the same size as that, so that's that's another reason. But yeah, I'm going to just start off. Uh, I'm just gonna get some. So every other, I mean, I'm just gonna make it four blocks. But obviously, you guys have seen it before. If you if you've uh, asked, been asking for it, you guys obviously know what it looks like. So, and of course, if if you want it to do it like an exact replica, you can always just go back and just pause the screen on my uh, house video of it because it's really not too difficult to build it just takes a long time so uh, every other just four blocks long these little things and I'll take this all the way to the uh, courtyard and then I'll stop it so I'm not gonna I'm gonna do a different courtyard design for the tutorial just to uh, you know mix things up a little bit all right just like that so now we want to do is just take this lining of snow right here that I it's like those first lines that I opened up just bring this all the way down and connect it same thing here and uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna continue this line of snow all the way down to here and then connect it to the last um, line I guess it's kind of hard to explain this kind of stuff because I don't really know what to call these things it's just so so random Okay, so now all we're going to do is just go ahead and where there isn't snow, just go ahead and break all the blocks of grass. Yeah, okay, so. And uh, if you guys are building this house in your town, um, I'd definitely be interested in coming to check out uh, the build. Because so if, um, if you guys do build the house and you want to send me a message, I, I might come check it out. And see if you guys have like I'm curious to see if you guys build on a super flat or you choose to build this house on like a hill or something like that. I feel like this house would look really nice on like a cliffside or something like that, like the edge of a cliff with like a waterfall or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But of course, Danville is a super flat world, so there's limitations. And uh, anyway, guys, what I'm gonna do right here is actually go ahead and break another layer of dirt, and I'm gonna replace it with snow. And this is what I talked about when I said this is gonna take a long time to build. Because you have to actually break the blocks underneath the water as well and replace them with snow. Which takes so long. I mean, it, it the, the process is sped up because of my super, uh, super rapid fire mod controller that I use. But that's a different story. If you're not using a mod controller, which I'm sure 99% of you are not, it's going to take a lot longer for you to break all these blocks. But definitely use the swiftest potions, of course. And uh, once we finish this little, I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I'm just going to do this pathway. I'm not going to do any more of the front yard. But the rest of the front yard, I'll add some bushes and some, I'll add the lines of uh, gr green wool and grass to make it look mowed. And I'll add some trees and stuff like that. But that's basically what I'm going to do for the front yard. I mean, just like the last Modern House tutorial, I'm going to make the keep the front yard real simple. Just kind of focusing on the house instead of the landscaping. Because I do have videos on my channel um for landscaping tutorials and ideas that you can use on this house if you want and plus i don't want the uh the tutorial to be an exact replica of the house i want you to guys at least have some of your own input on it okay so there we go so now all we have to do is just flood this just go ahead and just water everywhere this part is also a little bit annoying but you should have to get all the spot the spots in between so just go ahead and get all this in spots in between do a little zigzag through here. Oh, see, that's what I talk about. I didn't want to mess up like that. Just zigzags all the way through. Uh, we'll do the courtyard, guys, uh, and then I'll probably finish up this episode. 
Um, and hopefully the last or next episode, which will be episode four, will be the last episode. I'll do a little bit of interior design. I won't do a lot of it, but I'll do a little bit, just like I do normally. And uh, there we go, guys. So now we have this little pathway here. Obviously, let's take some of the lily pads. And uh, just go ahead and place them. And obviously, uh, if you guys have watched the the house tour of this one, you guys know this is not an original design by me. I got this uh, this inspiration from the world of Corallus, and I kind of just twisted it and make, made it my own design on this house. And I mean, that's always something that's that's really awesome about the world of Corallus is you can get a lot of inspiration for cool designs on that because that world is filled with houses. So next thing we're gonna do is get out some spruce wood. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this uh, courtyard a little bit different. I'm gonna have a little spruce wood walkway, I guess, that comes through here. Actually, you know, I'll leave these open right like that and this, this spruce wood walkway will connect right here. And something like this. Uh, like that. And then Place some grass blocks back here. And this is all random. This doesn't have to be an exact copy. You can do this. All, all the in landscaping stuff, I don't really... You can do whatever you want. I mean, it's your... You can do whatever you feel that you like. If you don't like this kind of stuff, then you don't have to do it. So, next thing I'm going to do is put the uh, waterfall in this corner. So, this is basically just random uh, spam of stone blocks. You don't have to use stone blocks. You can use grass blocks if you want. I just think stone blocks look good um, in certain areas. I don't know what you guys think, but I actually do like stone blocks a lot in certain spots. So like maybe like that tall. I could bring one up right here. Again, this is random spam placement, so you can just you can figure this out on your own. You can place wherever you want. And then right here, I'm just gonna make the pond. So I'm just gonna break a whole bunch of blocks and just fill it in with water. Pretty simple. I actually need to place the floor black back here so I can even this water out. There we go. And then I can just go ahead and break it now. Perfect. Alright, and uh, I'm going to add some sand. Some sand. There's a few blocks of sand here, here. Just like that. Maybe a little bit of sugar cane. This, all this stuff takes a long time. You just have to keep going back into the inventory. Some lily pads. Uh, and I, a lot of the stuff, this like stuff you rarely ever use, like lily pads and stuff, I always forget what page it's on. Because the sugar cane isn't on the second. Sugar cane should be here. I don't know why it isn't. All right, let's get out some bone meal. Go ahead and get a nice uh, birch wood tree. Actually, I can't put it right there, so put it right here instead. Can't put it there either. Put it over here. Okay. Apparently, this birch tree is retarded. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice, and I'm going to just bone meal this over here as well. Bone meal all of this. I did put a grill over here in the original design, so I will do that as well. And uh, one thing I actually am going to add real quick is just a couple little, like, stepping stone pressure plate kind of design here. Just like, like right here instead. Like that. A little, like, stepping stone design right there, and then you have the uh, waterfall, which I actually need to place water on so I need to actually get a block of stone out right here All right, hopefully this will flow in the way I want it to no it's not going to actually it pretty much did so I'll just what I'll do is I'll just go like this okay I don't want this spreading all oh shit okay that's not what I wanted to happen you know what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna block this back up and get this right Alright, so what I want to do, something like this, I want to make it so it doesn't flow all over the place, you know? So I think that'll, that'll actually flow right into the, into the, the pond nicely. Yes, it will. Awesome, that's just what I want right there. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is just add, I'm just going to place like, like a torch maybe on the, like right here, like right here. Just to light up the waterfall a little bit. And there we go. Just like that, we got our little courtyard space. It's looking nice. I'm happy with that. And actually, you know what's giving me a little bit of OCD? Is, uh... Oh, oh can't never mind. It fixed itself. Okay. Let me just get some more bone meal out real quick. 
Film me all that. And voila, we have ourselves a nice little waterfall thing, just like in the regular house. So um, I am going to add a gigantic tree. Probably, pref I'm actually, I might add it just like straight through the middle of the, uh, the waterfall. This is actually interesting, you guys. Um, a lot of people were asking me how I did the giant birch tree. Because obviously you can't grow a birch tree that big. I'll show you right now. Um, what else do I need? Okay, oak wood and then birch wood. All right, guys, so here's the trick. What I do is I go ahead and just line up uh, some birch wood, like about – it doesn't really matter how tall it is, just, just so it's a, right, right above the house, basically. And then what I do is I go ahead and place a grass block on top, then an oak sapling, not a birch sapling. And I place a, a red block diagonally above it, and then I spam the bone meal. And voila, I have, our, I have myself a big oak tree. Next thing I do is go ahead and break the red block. And then I start, I replace the trunk with uh, birchwood blocks. This is kind of tricky. You have to do this really quickly or the uh, the grass block or the uh, the grass blocks will disappear or the leaf blocks will disappear. So you have to do it like really quick. And basically all the ones that are just visible from the outside, you just kind of replace with oak. And I'll do a little bit over here as well. Actually, that's pretty much all the ones that are visible. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much how you do it. That's how you uh, make a big oak tree. Really, really not that hard at all. The next thing I'm going to do is actually get out some fences, some glowstone, and some trap doors. And I'm just going to hang these little lanterns down from the tree. I don't really know why I do this, but it just adds a little, like, ambiance, I guess. little decoration, really. It makes the tree s seem special. That's that's the reason why we do it. Okay, and I'm going to hang one down from right here as well. Okay. So that's pretty much good. All right, so I'm happy with the courtyard. Front yard is looking good as well. And uh, we are going to go ahead and close up this episode, guys, because this is running kind of long. It's been like 25 minutes. But yeah, we finished the courtyard. Uh, we finished, well, the front yard has got a little bit of this design here. That's all I'm going to do, really. But I will add some st other stuff in the front yard and the backyard next episode. And then hopefully the next episode will be the last episode, guys. So uh, that's it, guys. It's been Dan Lags. Make sure you click that like button. Let me go ahead and sleep real quick so you guys can see the house better. And I um, uh, guys really appreciate you guys watching it, supporting it. Uh, first two episodes have done really well, so I'm happy about that. Um, obviously, I'm going to try to get all these episodes out in a pretty frequent pace. That way, uh, you guys can just build it straight through. So uh, it's been your friendly neighborhood, Dan Lags. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this design. This is actually one of my favorite designs I've ever done, so I'm really excited about doing this again. So uh, that's it, guys. It's been Dan Lags. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. That would be awesome. And I will talk to you guys on the next episode. Peace out. Thank you.